Hey everybody, I'm Jen and this is the OpenSource.com Weekly Top 5. At number 5 this week, 12 highlights from the OpenStack Roadmap. Jason Baker serves up 12 videos with a short summary for each of OpenStack projects and their plans for 2015. Project team leads for each of the projects talk about their core mission, what they accomplished in their last release, and what their goals are for their next release. At number 4, the power of Docker and open source ecosystems. Docker was named one of the top 10 open source projects by opensource.com this year, and in this article, CEO of, CEO of Docker, Ben Golub, reflects on the power of open source ecosystems and communities as a big contributor to their success. Ben expresses his excitement to have Docker on the list for a second year in a row and names fellow top listers as partners in the Docker ecosystem. Ansible, Apache Mesos, Kubernetes, and OpenStack, to name a few, have all embraced a truly open model, including governance, contribution, design, and interfaces. What's the roadmap look like for Docker in 2015? Ben dedicates three solid paragraphs to this question, so go find out. At number three, we have 10 entry points to tech for girls, women, and everyone. If you're part of an open source project, you may know that entry might not always be the easiest thing. It's a topic we cover frequently on the site. We even have a series for articles for the beginner in open source. Here, OpenStack sysadmin Elizabeth Joseph shares a list of tips just for women, a list just for girls, and then a list for everyone. Maybe you're even just interested in seeing the gender gap close in open source and tech. So as an ally, Elizabeth urges you to volunteer and give some tips for that too. In number two, we have the building blocks of a distribution from Linux from scratch. If you know Linux, you know that each distribution is built using the same basic building blocks, but the end results are always different. To learn more about these building blocks and how to build a Linux foundation, Joshua Holm recommends that you turn to Linux from scratch. And if you want to take it beyond that, to build your own functional and customized system, then Beyond Linux from Scratch is for you. There are three other projects you might be interested in too, and for more information on Automated Linux from Scratch, Cross Linux from Scratch, and Hardened Linux from Scratch, check out this article. Finally, at number one this week, we have five open source projects to join in 2015. Scott Nesbitt shares five open source projects projects you should join in 2015. They may not be the highest profile projects like Docker or OpenStack, but they might they made the list because of their ease of entry as a newcomer and because of their unique project challenges. Find out more about BRL CAD, Speed Dreams, OpenMRS, Audacity, and Floss Manuals in this article. And if those don't suit what you're looking for, you can use one of these two great resources to find one that might, OpenHatch and OpenHub. They help you track, compare, and choose an open project to join. You can find all of the links to the articles in the show notes below, and we publish the article every Saturday. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.